prior to going into the woods, uh, there's some studying that you need to do in there. We have some material that you can use. A good uh, tool to use is a key to common trees of Alabama. Now, in this uh, booklet that we have, there are several terms that you'll need to learn so that you'll be able to identify the trees. There are leaf types, uh, leaf arrangement, and leaf shapes are all very important terms that you'll need to use. Uh, even the leaf edges are important in trying to identify a tree. Also in identification, we look at the bark. In this particular species, this is that same tree we just described. Uh, this is, it's deep furrowed, uh, it's pretty rough. Uh, some trees are smooth, but even in the winter time, after you study trees for a pretty good while, you'll be able to identify this tree, and this is a sweet gum, uh, just from looking at the bark. So bark is very important also in identifying tree species. In this particular species, uh, we're still talking about a sweet gum. Uh, it has a, a, a trunk. Uh, that goes up and then you have in its shape, uh, tree shape, uh, it goes up to a definite crown. Now, if this tree was right out in the open, you see some small branches at the bottom of this one, but they, because it's uh, populated enough here, they have died off as the tree grew, so you get a nice tall straight tree with a definite crown. All right, let's look at another species. Uh, this one is not a hardwood. This is a conifer, and this one has uh, needles. Uh, this one is a loblolly pine. It has a medium-sized cone, uh, medium-length needles. Uh, typically has three needles to the fascicle, and you say, well, gracious living, what is a fascicle? Uh, this is the three needles together with a uh, connection at the bottom to hold them together and it attaches to the uh, twig itself so that uh, this is very important in trying to identify our different species of pines. The medium sized cone is, is sticky, it, it's prickly is what it says in the book. Uh, when you feel of this uh, particular cone, it will actually stick you. You wouldn't want to be hitting each other with uh, these, although some kids uh, have done that in the past. Uh, but this is a loblolly pine. The shape of the tree uh, that we have for a loblolly pine is it has a, ma a main crown. Uh, the, this particular tree we're looking at here is still fairly young, uh, and it's going... Uh, up and it's starting it's out a little bit in the open so we're getting that uh, look of uh, still having limbs at the bottom but as these other trees go around it those bottom limbs will keep coming off and you'll have that definite crown at the top. When we look at a younger specimen of a loblolly pine and you don't have that medium sized cone or whether it's a loblolly pine with a large cone or a short leaf pine with a small cone. If you look up this particular tree, there are no cones. So we have to go to the description or the characteristics that tell us what it is. And this particular one, it has medium length needles. Uh, it has three needles to the fascicle. Occasionally you'll find one with two, but this one has three needles to the fascicle. Uh, definitely a good example of a loblolly pine. The next species we'd like to talk about has opposite leaf arrangement. We said that the sweet gum was alternate, uh, but this one is opposite. If you look at the leaves and the twigs that are coming off of the uh, limb here, uh, they are opposite in their leaf arrangement. Uh, that means they're straight across from each other, not alternating from side to side. Uh, this particular species is a red maple, and as we look at the tree itself in the fall, you might not have to wonder how it gets its name. Uh, there are different uh, species within this one, are varieties that we have in the maple that have been 
uh, domesticated that are orange, yellow, but this particular tree is uh, native and it is orange to red in its color. It has terminal leaf buds. Uh, it has a kind of scaly bark as it gets old. In its young stage, uh, it will be smooth. So when you look at a real young red maple, the bark would be smooth. The shape is going to be uh, similar to this one as we pan up this tree. Uh, we can see that it has a lot of limbs coming out. Depends on how close it, uh, the species around it are determines how much of a spread that it has. But if the uh, species are uh, controlled around this particular tree, it's going to get long branches like this one has on it. Uh, a very good species. A lot of them are planted in people's yards. So this is one that you can readily find to help teach uh, uh, the different species that we have on the contest.